Hi, I'm Jeff Hajek. I'm the owner and founder of Velaction. I have a continuing series of frequently asked questions that I've been answering on video. And today the question is, how many KPIs is appropriate to have? Well, let me start out by saying why are KPIs important? Well, in the big picture, a KPI is important because of the principle that the things that are measured are the things that people focus on and the things that get done. So with that in mind, we know we want to measure because it makes people know that things are important. Now with that said, I want to point out what KPI actually stands for and highlight that. The K is key, key performance indicator. So I've got the philosophy that if you call everything key, then nothing is. So you want to make sure that you isolate anything that's really important by calling it a KPI. So that's what people are going to focus on. They're going to be aware that leadership says that these are the key things we want to measure so they know that those are the important things. Now in the lean world, one of the ways you often see KPIs broken down is by QDCSM, quality, delivery, cost, safety, morale. Now the morale one, a lot of people kind of look at it as it's a nice to have thing, but morale does have a big impact on productivity and has an impact on turnover and it has an impact on job satisfaction. So you gotta make sure you address morale even if you don't have it listed specifically as a KPI. Safety, I'm reluctant to put on KPIs, if only because you should always be focused on safety. So it shouldn't really count in terms of your KPI. You want to look at that as a, a have to do thing. It's not something that you add on as a, you know, it's not like you get to opt out of safety if it's not one of your KPIs. So safety is a little different. So basically you want to have them focusing on Q, D, and C, quality delivering cost, with a safety and morale kind of handled a little bit separately. Now, within the categories, I would say try not to have more than two or three KPIs within each category with a maximum of eight to nine total. And that's at the higher levels. As you get down to the, the lower levels where you get towards uh, frontline managers, frontline leaders, you probably only want to have a couple of KPIs because it's a little bit easy to get diluted in what you do when you have um, 10 different or you know eight or nine different KPIs for a team of six or seven people. So you want to make sure that they know exactly what their most important function is, and that's indicated by the KPIs. And the final thing I'll say is that just because you're not measuring something as a KPI doesn't mean it's not important, and it doesn't mean that it's not something that you, you can measure. Um, you still may measure things like on-time delivery, even if you don't list it as a KPI, if only because you want to track if there's a problem with it. So often KPIs are focused on because they're either something that's critical to the business, um, or that it's something that you have as a target, an improvement target, and you want to make sure that you don't fall down on it, and you want to, you know, you want to make sure that you're making progress on your goals, so you track it as a KPI. And then over time, as you get good at those things, you just stop tracking KPIs once there's no benefit to it. So if you already reached your target, or if they never fluctuate, you eliminate them as KPIs and look at something else. So short of it is probably eight or nine at the most up at higher levels, maybe a handful, uh, two, three, maybe four at frontline levels are the most important things that you do. Um, and don't uh, keep tracking KPIs. If there's never any fluctuations and lines completely sta stable all the time, it's probably not something that you need to, be, need to be tracking that way and putting all the emphasis on it. So hopefully that uh, um, gives you some clarity in the answer. Um, if you have any other questions, any questions, you can contact me at info at .com or post a, a question down below. I, I try to be pretty good about answering those questions. Um, so that's all I have for today. Um, go out and have fun with your lean journey. Thanks.